cool. I know you guys are tired of seeing this shirt. <laughs> All right. Today, I'm going to uh, uh, walk out the uh, outfit. So it's clean, by the way. All right. Today, in today's video, I'm going to talk about types of Africans you meet in Philadelphia. Um, let's start with... Uh, let's start with Liberians. All right, Liberians, and I will tell you their personality and where they're located at. Liberians, you see Liberians mostly in West Philly, and then Southwest Philly, some part of Southwest Philly, and then uh, then a, a little bit of within the Philadelphia area. But one thing I have to say about Liberians is they are cool to me. They are Liberians are very cool people. If you meet Liberians here in Philly. They are cool. They are nice people. There are a few bad apples here and there, but majority of them are cool, so they are good in my book. Then, secondly, Nigerians. Nigerians are uh, they live mostly in the suburbs, and then surrounding minis like surrounding areas within Philadelphia. It's only maybe somebody that just came to Philadelphia uh, will live in Philadelphia, then eventually move to the suburbs. So. So you see Nigerians in Glen Odin, Upper Derby, and then uh, Cheltenham Avenue area. Um, uh, yeah, and then maybe people that the ones that move deep inside, uh, like other surrounding counties in Philly. So, but where you see Nigeria mostly in Philadelphia is Glen Odin, Yeldon, uh, Upper Derby those areas you see nigerians and their personality difference some nigerians uh the ones that first generation nigerians when you meet them they know you're nigerian but they don't want to have that nigerian conversation with you so they will try to cut it off try to show you be rude or you know push you aside i will uh, yeah i have experience that i'm going to talk to you about guys about later on so the cool ones are the ones that uh, just came they are humble, they are trying to see if there is an opportunity, they try to network. But the established ones, they don't even want to anything to do with you. Uh, they, if they want to have a conversation with you, they will size you up. A Nigerian person will size you up, see the kind of conversation they will have with you. So that's Nigerians for you. Overall, the only thing I'll say is they are the, the ones that just came to Philly, uh, that lives in the city, Maybe because they haven't seen opportunity yet or something. They tend to be more friendly. But the ones that are established probably have a family, have kids. Before they will have a conversation with you, you have to be on the same level. Or they have something they will gain from you. Other than that, your conversation with them will be more of uh, on the surface. So that's Nigerian. Then Ethiopians, they usually live uh, close to... They live within the city. They live in West Philly, Upper Derby. And then uh, they are not a lot in Philadelphia because they are mostly in D.C. But where you see them is uh, Upper Derby area as well. And then uh, some of them within downtown West Philly area. So and then how their personality one, they they approach you as if they are not black. Their conversation, they are, yeah, there's a way they communicate with you. They think they are not black. But the, the, what they forget to understand is that being black comes with dif different facial figures and skin tone. And black is not just one. Uh -huh. Or West African black, you know. That's how they see black in general. So, so there's the way they communicate. And it's weird. So Ethiopians in Philly, uh, they, are, they can be friendly. It's just it takes time, you know. But they limit how far they will go with you. They behave like a bougie white person but they have nothing so you know they have nothing so that aside then the the worst ones that i'm i'm sorry to call them worse but francophone africans that live in philly those ones that are the most saddest they are never happy they are always angry like if they see a fellow african they will look at you expect you to kneel down they expect you to start a communication then when you start a communication the way they will be responding is totally ass francophone the ones that speak french like the ones that speak french they stick to themselves they don't want to uh, uh they don't want to open up you will see the ones that uh, a, a, a french speaking african that lived in america for 30 years the way he speaks english he feels like he just came to america last week that's they are 
the Francophone, the French speaking Africans. And sometimes people, the American, African Americans or Americans in general, think that personality is the way the whole Africans are. But that's not true. They tend to be actually, then they, they tend to be sneaky. When they, when they communicate with Americans, white or black, they tend to be more calm. But when they see their fellow African, that sadistic, unhappy personality comes out. I avoid them at all costs. I'm sorry to, if you're a French speaking African here, tell me, they stick to themselves. And another country that live in Philly, they, this uh, Francophone because they live in West Philly. West Philly, West, uh, West, well, Southwest Philly, I'm sorry. Southwest Philly, that's where you see a lot of them. They have stores, all these small shops. Uh, most African markets will go and buy stuff. They are from there. Uh -huh. They own some of the stores that uh, we go and buy African food uh, stuff. Then another country that lives in Philadelphia a lot is Gambians. The thing about Gambians is they, are, they speak English. They are cool people. But for, for whatever reason, they tend to associate themselves with those Francophone countries, Francophone Africans. They, they associate, I guess, because Gambia and Senegal, you know, they are neighbors. So Gambians in Philly tend to uh, associate themselves. They like to stay with those Francophone Africans. So what am I, which are another Africans that live in Philly? Um, I have said Ethiopia, Nigeria, Liberians, and Francophone. When I mean Francophone, I mean like people from Abidjan, Senegal, uh, Burkina Faso. Um, yeah, all those guys, they stick to one, they, they live in the same uh, one area. Then another people that I've seen, uh, I've seen Ugandan guy. I haven't seen a lot of them here. I've seen South Africans, but they are very few. I don't know where South Africans live in Philly. You know, I think, you know, probably very, because there are very few. So these are the major countries that I think that live in Philly and their personalities and the area where they live. So other states that have lived in America, I'll make a video about them. Maybe the way you guys uh, respond to this one will show if I can make another one. So this video is about different Africans that live in Philly and the areas that li they live in Philly and their personalities. So, yeah, if you are coming to Philly, at least have this in your mind. Uh, I know some of you want me to mention Ghana. Unfortunately, there is not a lot of Ghanaians in Africa, in, in Philadelphia. They are in New York. Yeah, they, they, they are. They, they might, they are, but they are not enough for me to understand. I have never, I've met like one or two Ghanaians since I'm, I've been off and on in Philadelphia. So that's why I didn't mention Ghana. So these ones that I mentioned is the ones that I know that are very common here. So, yeah. All right, see you guys on the next one.